Who would have thought that empty pockets and a vacant schedule would construct such a fulfilling lifestyle? I want to talk about freedom and how I was able to start 2022, the freest I felt in a long time. These are the things I brought back with me from Mexico. The neck pillow was just for the flight. I'm not one to spend money on things. I already have a tiny bedroom and rather than crowding my space with more stuff, I like to spend my time getting out of it and creating new experiences. So obviously when we arrived, we had to ring in the new year, right? But after that, the 2022 agenda was completely open. With no plans and no place to be, we took a ferry to Isla Mujeres, a little island off the coast of Cancun. We hopped on some golf carts and let curiosity guide the rest of our day. What's up, dude? <laughs> Go for a ride? <laughs> we drank, we dined, we hit the beach. It's hard to describe the spontaneity of it all. We found some sweet sights and some wildlife, including likely the closest I'll get to a wild crocodile. There were no obligations. I didn't have a phone on me, no keys, no wallet. The only thing that was in my hand was my camera, shooting video, documenting my life, my favorite thing to do. These experiences, these images, could not have been achieved with a script or a shot list. They're not perfect, but they're real. And it could only be accomplished with complete and total freedom. And that is something I want to take with me into 2022. While I can't always be on vacation, I want to start clearing my agenda, leaving the devices that tether myself. And while still living a life with intention, accomplish my goals with a little more freedom. <laughs>